Hey there guys, Tammy Abraham has just completed his move to Roma for £34 million. Pounds. He signed a five year contract at Roma and there was quite a few clubs linked with him, like Arsenal were linked with him, West Ham were linked with him, I think also Serie A side at Atlanta were linked with him. But he's ended up going to Roma, it's a good signing for Roma. And I don't think Chelsea would have wanted to sell one of their key younger players to a Premier League rival like an Arsenal or a West Ham. So he ended up going to Roma. Chelsea do have a buyback clause though, which is around £68 million, I think, and it can be triggered after two seasons at Roma, so around 2023. And he needed to move because Chelsea just completed the signing of Romelu Lukaku, and he wasn't going to get minutes at Chelsea with Lukaku just joining. I feel a bit sorry for Tammy Abraham, not just because of the Lukaku signing, but if you look at his career, he always had the 18 90 season that he spent out on loan at Aston Villa. He had a great season out there, he got 26 goals, that's a lot of goals, don't know why I had to say that, but he got 26 goals out on loan at Aston Villa, and then Chelsea had that transfer ban where they couldn't really sign anyone, they got rid of Eden Hazard, so they kind of went into youth and they had to use their youth system, so they had to use the players like Mason Mount, Fikayo Tomori, Rhys James, hudson Adoy, and Tam Abraham was in that list, and he actually started the full season really, he played the full season with Chelsea and he did really well, he had a good first season, he got 15 goals or 15 Premier League goals and it was a good first season and he was part of that Chelsea team that got to the top four and it was something that they could build on for the next season. After a good first season for Lampard, something they could build on for next year, Abramovich gave Lampard a lot of money in his second season because their transfer ban was now lifted and they bought a lot of good players, they bought Ben Chilwell, they bought Hakim Ziyech, they bought Thiago Silva, they bought Kai Havertz. But the main one and the cost of concern would have been for Tam Abraham is that they bought Timo Werner from RB Leipzig, who was banging them in in the Bundesliga. And after all that hard work of a good first season getting 15 Premier League goals, I feel that he was kind of backstabbed by Chelsea because he, he scored all these goals and now they go and buy Timo Werner for 50 million from RB Leipzig. So it's like, what's the point of Tam Abraham of playing well because he's just going to get bought out and not be able to play and not be rewarded for his good performances last season and you're just going to buy Timo Werner. As soon as Timo Werner signed, he was immediately dropped to the bench and he continually struggled to get back into the team. And then after struggling to get back into the team, Frank Lampard was sacked, a new manager came in about halfway through the season and Thomas Tuchel never really fancied him either, so he'd kind of just spent most of, and basically all of last season on the bench, struggling for minutes. Especially after Lukaku joining from Inter, he needed to move on, and he has moved on to Roma and Jose Mourinho. He's joining Roma and Jose Mourinho, new league, new competition, it'll be interesting to see how he gets on. And uh, yeah, he's actually joining the same league as ex-teammate for Kyle Tomori, who obviously plays for AC Milan. And it'll be interesting to see how he gets on in new league, new competition. Just see how he gets on. And if he does do well out there, he's got a chance of getting back into that England team. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Put in the comments how many goals you think Abraham will get this season in the Serie A. Do you think he'll do well? Do you think he'll do bad? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll be doing daily football content every single day. So yeah, if you enjoy that, like and subscribe. And I'll see you later. Cheers.